Alright, we'll choose ally for now. We'll later choose betray. Junpei, you ass. What the? Why? Sorry, Carlos. There's nothing gained by choosing betray, right? You said that, but you forgot, Carlos. There actually was something. What are you? The three and Q team currently dead. The X door will be able to be opened. We share the same fate. That's right. If you die, Diana and Sigma will die as well. No. So then, you don't take it the wrong way. I didn't choose Betray so I could escape. I know you'd do anything for the little sister you love. So that's why I figured you'd choose to push Betray yourself. So, essentially it was a defensive move. I, I only wanted to protect Akane and Fai. Japanese saying, assume everyone you meet is a thief. It means you should never trust strangers so easily. Alright, this time we're going to choose to betray Jintei. He's probably going to choose ally and... <sighs> that mess all over again.
<laughs> How dare you? How dare you kill Junbei? Akami! Did she get bullied a lot? No. It was just... Well, not many people wanted to be friends. Uh, where? You okay? Is... Is this before the A-B game? What? Okay... Uh, should I keep going? Yeah. I always saw her, sitting in a corner, curled up, hugging her knees, and all alone. I... I decided I'd stay by her side to watch over and protect her if I could. Huh? Then one day, her beloved rabbits were killed by some stupid middle schoolers having fun. She went to their hutch crying and apologizing over and over to them. How, how, how do you know that? Did Akane tell you? No. Then why? Uh, so, gonna stay silent, huh? Uh, fine. Uh, guess there's no point talking about this. Let's just get these votes. No, wait! Something's weird. Hello, pot calling kettle. Whatever I chose in the AB game, it was always the worst outcome. What are you talking about? Um, uh... Junpei? Carlos? Ah... Oh, I think... I understand. I believe that what you just did was shift, Carlos. Shift? Space-time human internal fluctuating transfer. A phenomenon where one's mind crosses space and time. Akane, is... is that...? The power we used a year ago? The ability to send and receive information through the morphogenetic field. It's a simpler version of this. You're saying the me here right now came from a different history? Well, your consciousness at least. Say you go back in time to when your parents met, using a car as a time machine. Know what movie I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, of course I do. The high school protagonist almost gets it on with his own mother <laughs> and tries to get his awkward dad to marry her. That's the basic plot, right? Yes, the story revolves around a boy. We'll call him... To avoid copyright infringement. Now, according to the plot, he's successful at getting his parents to marry. But history ends up changing slightly. Upon returning to his own time, his father's a famous science fiction writer, and he's rich. Huh. I guess the hierarchy was switched when his dad punched the neighborhood bully. But... 
you notice something odd about the movie? Just what happened to the M who lived in that fancy house? Huh. Well, now that you mention it. I, I don't think the M from that history appears in the movie at all. There are two overarching types of stories about time travel. The first type states that there is always only one history. Meaning, if someone changes the past, that previous past is subsequently erased. multiple histories exist. This is the many worlds interpretation. One of the more widely believed hypotheses on multiverse theory. The world and universe split into branches as a result of one's decisions. It's a setup where each branch is able to exist in some form. Okay, so back to the movie. First, Let's consider what happens with a single path history. In this case, do you know what M is doing back in his own time? What he's doing? Committing a form of murder. Mm. Murder? Well, think about it. Uh, the M who grew up in that fancy house, let's call him M2. M2 should have had a variety of amazing memories from his life. Maybe he met a really cute girl he liked, or was a winner of a contest. The possibilities are endless. All of those memories, every single one was overwritten when M came from another history. Huh. But the history that disappeared was poor M's. You're right, that's true. What was erased from existing in time was M's history. But the only memories that M retained... Uh, ...are those of when he was poor. So, in effect, the life that M2 lived through was overwritten. All because of the actions that the protagonist M took to save his own. I'd say that's the same as killing someone, don't you think? Next is the multiverse hypothesis. In this situation, M2's life is never erased. Instead, a mystery remains. Where did his consciousness so, go? Where did M2, the version who remembers being well off, up and disappear to? Where he went? This is what I think. On the same day that protagonist M used the time machine, M2, for some reason, did the same as M and went back to the past. But then, he did the exact opposite of M. The opposite? Mm-hmm. He stopped his dad from punching the bully. So, when he returned to his own time, it was the world poor M had lived in. Are you saying that they pretty much switched places? It would keep everything consistent. That's depressing. What is? Um, M2's situation. Well, he ends up getting the bum end of the deal regardless of which scenario happens. Damn, that's pretty unfair. Yes, that's true. But, uh, this is rather difficult to say, Carlos. Your case may be exactly the same. What? Your consciousness could have come from another history and taken over this body. In exchange, the Carlos who was here originally... No. Another me is in the other history? Uh, there's no use in getting upset. You simply need to accept that that's what shifting is. But wait, Akane, how did you know that Carlos is able to shift? 
He mentioned before that he knows which path has death at the end and which is safe. I just sort of knew, too. An arsonist set fire to our house when I was 18. My parents didn't make it, though I was able to get my sister Maria out. But we didn't make a clean escape. Maria fell into some sort of coma. They first thought that she had carbon monoxide poisoning. But that wasn't what it was. Reverie syndrome. A variety of moments flicker in and out of the mind, as if one was constantly dreaming. We believe this is what your sister has. Maria is either receiving large amounts of information from the morphogenetic field, or her consciousness cannot stop its jumping between multiple histories. Then she's like us. Yes, though it's slightly different. In Maria's case, that power is running rampant within her. That is what the reverie syndrome really is. What? If a way can be found to control the ability, then she could recover from it. Is that true? I see. That's good. So there's some hope for her. Hey, Carlos. When you dove into the fire to save your sister, you were able to hear her voice, right? Yeah, I was. Carlos, I'm here! I'm over here! Maria! Maria, is that you? Just stay there! I'm coming to get you! No matter how you look at it, there was no way her voice could reach me. But I realized exactly where she was, and I found her quickly. That was the first time. After that, I could hear victims crying out in the fires, and which way would lead to my death. Oh, this, this ability we have is triggered by intense danger. When we are threatened by a crisis, it's easier for us to access the field. I get it. So that's what it was. So, Carlos, Junpei, shall we shift? Huh? What? There's really no reason to play the A-B game. Well, as it stands right now, it's incredibly likely the both of you will decide to pick ally. But instead of going through that, it'd be better to shift to another history. It'll work! The three of us will definitely be able to do it! But only... if we find our lives in danger. Wait, what do you mean by danger?
to get down to the wire here? But Carlos, you can't do that if you're dead. Did it work? But this is... Hurry, Junpei, what was your idea? Yeah, um, right, first. <gasps> what the hell? <laughs> Carlos, put Akane in the fireplace. Huh? Just do it! two bodies in front of you. But if you do that, then you'll... It's okay. Listen, Carlos and I will protect you and die. The fuck? Don't worry, it'll be fine. Before we die, we just need to shift to another history. Once you hear all of the X-Passes, Akane, you should follow right away. The, the X-Passes? In this history, five are already dead. Fi's the only other one alive. That means five X-Passes will be revealed. If Carlos's and mine are added to that, then there'll be seven. No! Damn it, Junpei. What the hell is this plan? You're going to help, right? God damn it! Go back now. This is the only way. Where are we jumping? To the history when we rolled the dice and they were all ones. Okay, let's do this then. Let's protect Akane, no matter what. I'm counting on you, Carlos. No! No, 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 no!
I should go now. shifted just fine, so what's the big deal? It's not okay! Uh, we did get 7x passes at least. Not you too, Carlos. I can't believe you! You always were like that, weren't you, Junpei? When we were in sixth grade, you faced those rabbit-killing middle school kids alone. There were probably other ways of handling it, but... You rushed right in. Even the shifting. It's okay because it worked, but... What if I was left behind there? Well, I, uh, I figured you could escape alone then, or, or something. But that way of thinking is completely wrong. Being the sole survivor does not make me happy. There's no point in living once you lose the one you care about the most. Akane. <laughs> I'm sorry. I... I never meant to ever cause you pain like that. What's that? Well, um... Remember back in elementary school, your dream was to wear a ring on your left hand? So... What's the matter? <laughs> Junpei... <laughs> Junpei... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> but... <laughs> you know this is my right hand, don't you? Wait, what? Oh, you're right. It, um, it, it looked like the left from, from my side, so, uh... <laughs> That's just like you, Junpei. <laughs> uh, well, we'll move it to the correct finger later. Hmm. <laughs> I'll do it officially after we escape from here. I understand. So... Until then, I'll leave an empty spot open. <laughs> it's been put on reserve. Kane, do you remember the X-Passes for Junpei and me? Yes. Normally, when someone shifts, they forget the memories from the last timeline. But I'm used to it. It's all there. But wait, hold on. Carlos and I remember what happened before, too. Huh. I think the memories were strengthened due to the resonance effect. Those with the ability to shift there are three of us here, so... But... I wonder why. Why have three shifters gathered in a place like this? Doesn't really seem like a coincidence. Huh. True. Even if we really are seeing more shifters in the world, the probability... Wait. The numbers are increasing? Mankind is about to face an unprecedented crisis. As it stands now, we'll 
lose six billion lives. I assume mankind has sensed that and is adapting. Even though it's in reality only a small portion, there's no way there are tens of thousands of shifters. Then it's definitely on purpose. But we signed up for DCOM of our own free will. Wait a minute. But maybe we just think that. And in actuality, we did exactly what Zero wanted? It's highly possible. Ah, damn! What is that bastard thinking? Wasn't it because he needed us to shift? Why would that be important? It'll all be over once we get out of here anyway. You're right. We couldn't care less what Zero has planned at this point. We need six X-Passes. We know five of them already, so... One more. Akane, tell us one of the other X-Passes. It's save. What? Akane? Hey! What the hell? Wait, wait. I is the X-Pass wrong somehow? Th that can't be! Yeah, let's try the other one too! Akane! Uh, it's doll. Ah, uh, they're different passes. Those may not be the ones decided, or you can't do it because it hasn't been revealed yet. But yeah. What the? No way. But why? X passes are sent to their respective histories. X passes from alternate timelines are not. What? No! <laughs> Chupe. <laughs> now this is hilarious! How perfect! Why... Why did we even struggle through all of that just now? Those guns turned my body into Swiss cheese. And you're telling me that it was all for nothing? All we did was die in vain? So, just one person needs to die. What? Just, just one more person, and Akane and Carlos can... Junpei, you! Wait, Junpei! Hey! Q? be punished. B punished? Time to exterminate. Exterminate? Connie! <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculous. What? How? How did I see QT? 
I gotta do something. If I die now, Trepay and Akane, think. I gotta think. There must be a way, some way, to survive this situation. Ah, there has to be. I believe that what you just did was shift, Carlos. That's it! Shift! I could shift! There's no way I'm leaving Junpei and Akane behind. I'll come up with a plan in another history and jump right back. Uh, where do I go? Which history should I jump to? Damn it! I don't have time to think! Then... I just killed... Akane. This is the history where Akane was killed. I... I killed her. No, I didn't kill her. The one who did was me from this history. Oh, this can't be kept like this. I need to do something at least. The anesthetic worked somehow. The pain's done. How long it last? Regardless, who is that kid? I have to figure out who he is somehow. Yeah, there's one more thing I need to do. That vision I saw, I have to tell Q-Team. Search the family portrait. I'm counting on you, Gab. Now then, what's left is figuring out who that kid is. He might have been the one who killed Junpei in this history. <laughs> 